presidency clarifies that uh, this, is on, this is on the tax, tax reform bills. Presidency clarifies that the proposed tax reform bills that are aimed to benefit all Nigerian states are not against the North. Responding to the Northern Governors Forum opposition to a new derivation based VAT model, governors and traditional leaders, including Sultan of Sokoto, had voiced concerns that the changes that disadvantage uh, might be disadvantaged to the northern state. In a statement by the president through his special advisor, Bayo Nanuga, he explained that the reforms emerged from a thorough review of tax laws aimed to streamline tax processes and improve efficiency. The proposed bills include renaming the Federal Inland Revenue Service to Nigeria Revenue Service, establishing a joint revenue board and introducing a tax uh, ombudsman to address taxpayer issues. Now, the reforms propose a fairer VAT distribution model based on where goods and services are consumed rather than remitted. The presidency has urged support for those of these reforms designed to create an equitable tax system that fosters economic growth across all regions. I'll get to find out what Mazi thinks about this bill, down to why he thinks the Northern governors feel attacked by this particular bill, which led to the statement from the presidency. Let's have uh, Mazi up now. Mazi, good morning to you. How are you doing today? Uh, good morning to you. It's my pleasure. I'm very well. By His grace, the grace has been keeping me, mm. and the grace shall be able to keep me Amen, amen, amen. Mazi, welcome. It's good to have you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very sincerely. Uh, it gives me joy um, speaking with you and to my good people in uh, River States. All right, Mazi, let's move on to the story we're discussing now. What do you think about this bill? Well, um, you just uh, uh, said some part of their fears and uh, why the presidency has to come out openly to clarify the issue. Um, but it goes uh, down to say who owns this land, who owns this nation, who feel that they are the owner of this nation. Um, uh, they looked at it until now. Uh, that they, they now decided to um, hold their meeting to protest and they condemned it. Mm. First and foremost, first and foremost, they started, they started, they started about when the other Lagos state or River State went to court about the um, how the VAT issue should be uh, shared, the profit should be shared mm. within the three years of government. They went to court, uh, the other state joined them. And later on, other, the, the court said that she went uh, it out of court. And since then, it has not seen the light of the day. But they know where the federal government is coming from. The fact is a contentious issue there. One, the federal government said it's not proper for you not to produce and you begin to benefit. That it is good for where goods are produced. The people there enjoy. I'm just trying to be. Uh, um, local in explanation so that the market room and the uh, drivers will understand what that bit is all about. Let's take, for example, alcohol. Alcohol is produced here in the south generally, and none is produced in the north. Tobacco is produced, and some of these things are not produced in the north. And the, the federal government said, Look, we derive our from these major things based in the south it will be proper for the south to take a lion's share of it and the north said no but you see it's only in nigeria you, you read where it is so like my explanation it is in nigeria you read where it is so the law of so is that you must show and read for what you show but then they also want to show you that they own this country I'm able to say they gathered and you remember that was last week I said that bill is anti north. Mazi, why do you think they that. feel is anti north? I'd like you to explain that part of it. 
Now, you see, they said that if that bill stays true and is signed into law, that the law to be badly disadvantaged, they may not be able to be getting enough revenue from that. So it means that it's against them, they will not but remember they are 19 states in the law. They gathered last week and said President B80, we made you president. And we are going to withdraw our support. They said it openly. They canvassed it openly. It was all over the social media, all over the media. The president, we made you, we read the election. We made you the president. The, 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 you Ma, Ma, the, the, did they say they read we the election, Mazi? They used the word, we withdraw. They used the word, we withdraw our support against you in 2027. And the presidency, became aggressive that if this was saying which is the, their target is 2027 they started coming around they started having various meetings on who to project and how they are going to abandon APC, especially uh, BAT. so they now got and said look we are going to have including the traditional rulers those all the governors in the northern state they all got I said, no, we don't accept this. If you are doing it, you are against us. We will teach you a lesson in 2027. That was what they were agreed. Even though they came up with the night, but that was it. Now, out of fear, because the presidents you know the chunk vote comes from the north. And some people now, now told look, you better get it right. That is why the presidency hurriedly, hurriedly will draw the bill. But to me, to me, there's nothing wrong in that. They don't produce alcohol. We produce alcohol in the South here, generally. We produce in Anambra, we produce in Lagos, we produce anywhere. And the vats are paid on these products. Mm -hmm. And it is from that vat that is shared among the taxi states and, I mean, uh, FCT. Then if you don't produce, then how do you have to benefit from it? So that is why they look at it as anti not. It's against them. And we are talking about true federalism. And we are talking about restructuring. Restructuring is not against any. It means go and be productive in your own region. I remember in 60s, 70s, 50s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, before the advent of the oil, the each region, region produced what they used to service themselves until this oil came on board. Everybody has now become lazy. So that is the contention. All right, Mazi, let me come in here. Let me come in here. Since, since you're talking about uh, different regions, what they produce, and them benefiting from what they produce, does, don't you think this is going to lead to some sort of uh, disunity? How do you think this is going to affect our unity no, 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 as a nation? No, no. In, in, this, in the 50s, was, was there any uh, sign of or talk of disunity? No. It makes you to be productive. It makes you to be self-sufficient. It makes you to rely on what... Look... In the 50s, I'm talking about the the way for producing a lot of things, cocoa, mm. uh, whatever, whatever. In the north, we produce ice and skin, granite, um, bees, and things like that. Did that make them to be disunited? Uh, uh, there was not not like disunity. It makes your region to be strong. Look at what is happening in rivers here where you are. The, I mean the. Uh, River State Governor said, look, hold your federal allocation. We can generate our revenue locally and be sustained with it. That is what that means. That is what we are talking about, we are talking about, about uh, uh, restructuring and the true federalism. Mm. It is because of laziness. Some states don't want to go into internal revenue generation. They depend on oil and that fact. So because if this be scheduled, it will start going to be more beneficial to where those um, goods are produced. And they look at it and say, what we produce? The same thing in Nigeria. If all is taken away from Nigeria, how many states will survive it? Nigeria will never allow the oil to be taken away. Hmm. They will never allow the oil to be tried on. That is why everybody. And of course, and of course, it makes you to be lazy. Let us be productive. Let us be self sustaining. Let us be self without depending on the center. Before now, the, it is the state that feels the center. But now the center now feels the state. That be a time the, the, the center will be weak. 
So that is the aim of that, so that you can go to your domain, you can go to your region, you can go to your state and be more productive. Stop being lazy, so that whatever you, you cannot pay what I may use in uh, 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 language tied to the federal. All right, Mazi, talking because, about because it said because the Lord feel that the chunk of the food comes from them, okay. and that's why they started. Started making me telling him, look, we will deal with you in 2027. All right, that that means it's not it's not harmful to, to Nigerians. It means you produce this, we give you either seventy percent of it or thirty percent of it. Then the other one, you see, it's just like going to you get to what you according to the percentage of what you produce. Okay, that's the essence of that deal. I just explain it in a labor understanding so that the people, our viewers, our listeners will understand why the Lord is saying it's anti them. It's not anti them. But then who should complain? It is the South that are producing all this thing. It is the South where the chunk of the VAT comes from. Hmm.